But I do want to touch on one last thing that you talked about there, Grace, the idea of the, the MCAT when it comes to the, both the post-bac program. Um, students don't need an MCAT score to apply to post-baccalaureate programs, right? Absolutely not. So for either, I mean, career changers obviously don't have it, but even for the academic enhancers, they don't need it. It's not required. Does it still play a role in the admissions process for for the post program? So I would say yes. And so there have been occasions where individuals will, for our program it does. Uh, let me, I'm sorry, let me uh, no, stress no. to the audience, our program comes with a conditional acceptance. Right. Part of that is the science GPA and the MCAT mm -hmm. uh, prep. And for the MCAT test, we require a score of 30, which is quite reasonable in this very competitive uh, uh, environment and reasonable in as much as our regular applicant pool uh, average MCAT is above that. So when evaluating applications to the Temple School of Medicine postback program, if we have someone with a really weak MCAT and it's predicated on other factors uh, you know, um, grades that are, are also modest, and by very weak, I would say below 20. You know, the chances of that individual improving their MCAT score by 10 or more mm -hmm. points is unlikely. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that someone couldn't do it, but again, based on uh, data, empirical mm -hmm. data, right. It, it's it's almost impossible to achieve that. So yes, it does come into play. 